Hey guys, welcome back to another video and I've got a little cool unboxing for you. I've been wanting this keyboard for a long time. It's a SteelSeries Apex Pro TKL, but I need your help. I need you to tell me what I need to know about these mechanical switches and mechanical keyboards because the last time I had a mechanical keyboard was at least 10 plus years ago. So I need as much help as you can give me. If you're watching this video, if you know about mechanical keyboards, please let me know in the comments or go tweet me on Twitter, link in the description um, and give me some tips on what I can do with this. What the big deal with them is because Right now, for the longest time, I've been using this bad boy for gaming, for productivity, the Logitech, I don't even know the brand of it. It connects up to three different devices with three different Bluetooth inputs. But I'm finally upgrading to the ultimate gaming keyboard. Let's get into it. I'm blaze okay? Thank you for joining me. Um, let's get this thing unboxed, shall we? Let's go. All right, guys, here we are. Here we have the box here. So let me see if I can zoom into this for you, should you need to be zoomed in. Um, the Steel Series Apex Pro TKL mechanical gaming keyboard, PC, Mac, Xbox One, and PS4, and probably PS5 and Xbox Series X. It says OLED smart display on the top right, in game alerts, Discord messages, current song. Very nice. Um, adjustable, adjustable mechanical OmniPoint switches. I'm not sure what that means. You need let me know in the comments. Aircraft grade aluminium alloy frame, five onboard profiles. Um, and there we go. 32 bit arm. It's, this keyboard's got a freaking processor built in. Very cool. So let's get into it, shall we? Let's see. How the heck do I open this thing? Oh no, it needs, it needs, it's got tape. I need to peel. Thank God for USB C connectors. <laughs> Does anyone else do that when they're short of a knife or something? Just grab anything that has any any kind of sharp edge on it whatsoever to cut open stuff. <laughs> Alright, we're cutting it open. Boom! For glory! Awesome. Love the love that. We've got a long cable and it's got two USB ports on it. So I'm guessing one is probably for powering the keyboard RGB, because I know they're pretty bright lights. And the other one must just be for your interface, obviously. Oh no, no, tell a lie. Okay, oh nice. So it looks like it's got a USB extension thing up here. You can expand, you can basically use one of your plugs on the US on the keyboard to basically allow you to plug something in here like a USB a USB device. USB flash drive, USB device. Oh, let's open this. Right. Oh, clickety clackety already. I like it. Look at that. Oh, very nice. All right, let's put that to the side over here. And inside, we get our Apex Pro TKL instruction information guide. Very nice. Um, oh, and underneath, we get the magnetic wrist rest over here. Let's see if I can open this. I don't know if I'll be using a wrist rest. I don't think I've ever needed to use one before, but we could always give it a shot, can't we? Why not? We got a, we got a free magnetic wrist rest. Why not use it, okay? Um, so here it is. It's got a nice Steel Series logo right here. Can you see it? Very nice. Very nice. Look at that logo. There it is in the back. Very cool. All right. And inside the box, there is nothing else. We're done. Is that it? I was expecting there to be a free gaming PC in here. All right. We're going to put the keyboard here. This is where it's going to sit. Oh my goodness, guys. Like I said, it's I've been using this thing. Let's see how it compares. Okay, so it's about the same size as the normal keyboard bit, except for this bit sticks out. Nice. So I need to get a USB switcher because like I said, what I liked about this one is it let me connect to three different devices. So one was my Mac, my Mac, my gaming PC and my stream PC. Um, so I'm gonna have to figure out a way where I can connect this to all three without and be able to and be able to switch on the fly. This is going to be hopefully my new primary keyboard. Let's see the magnetic thing, magnetic wrist rest. Oh, that is nice, and it's got a really smooth, soft, silky feel to it. Okay, the wrist rest feels great. Let's see without it. Yeah, I can see myself using the wrist rest. The wrist rest just has a nice feel to it. Oh yeah. All right, let me give you a close up of the keyboard then. So here on the top right we have. 
the OLED display that's going to let you see Discord messages, your music that you're playing, allow you to control different configs, color configs and whatnot, and you can switch between stuff with the scroll wheel. This is a little light button, I'm not sure what this is for. Um, we've obviously got that USB extension over here, so we can plug USB flash drives in there. That's going to be really handy for certain things. For when I'm wanting to get files off the computer, I don't have to reach around the back of the gaming PC to, to, do, to do that anymore. Um, yeah, really impressed so far. Alright, so all we have to do, I guess, is get this set up here. Let's put that, push that back there, sorry. And, um, nope. Be right back. Let me let me bend this massive long cable right the back of the PC. Be right back. So here we are, guys. That was that was a hassle. I had to squeeze down the back of my computer there to try and get that to work. But here we have it. Here is the freaking the keyboard, the Steel Series Apex Pro TKL. It is an absolute beautiful little machine. Um, are you ready for the, the sound test? I'm gonna actually zoom in a second here and I'm gonna try turn off the, the audio background noise disabler thing that cranks in the background noise so you could hear every clickety clack on this thing. Are you ready? Let's go. All right, background noise reactivated. So you might hear like fans and stuff in the background. That's okay. I want you to hear this. Are you ready for this? <laughs> Let's go. Oh, it's it's like reacting to keys that I press. Look at that. <laughs> oh, this feels nice. Oh, W. Oh, you definitely have to. You definitely have to get a, a, after using a keyboard. Like, where's my other keyboard? After using a keyboard like this for the longest time, where the keys are so shallow, I feel like I don't. I barely have to do any work to press them down um, when I'm playing FPS games or shooter games. This one, it's night and day. Look at the amount of travel on that. Oh, and the, the tactile clickiness from it is just beautiful. Let's see. Let me get a feel. So I'm going to play a little bit of Warzone 2 with this, all right? So you guys can get a feel for how this is going to, this is going to be, how this is going to play, how I'm going to adjust. Now, I'm not going to go through all the settings because, frankly, I don't know how to go through all the settings. Let me see. I think I'm going to have to install some, I'm going to have to install some SteelSeries software. So let's do that now, okay? Let's go. All right, guys, we have returned. I've just installed the SteelSeries GG software, and it already detects that I've got two different devices here. It's got Apex Pro TKL, which is what this is, and we've got the Arctis 7X wireless gaming headphones, which I have connected also. These things, guys, the Arctis 7X wireless, are my number one headphones. I'll put a link in the video description to where you can go buy them. These things are game-changing for video gaming in general. So these are the reason why I'm... These, Headphones are the reason why I got this keyboard because I became a sort of loyalist to Steel Series. After I got these headphones, it's just I just I've fallen in love with them and they're amazing and they do so many things. Um, and I'm sure the keyboard does the same. So let's get into this. Let's click critical update install for new firmware. So let's update the the keyboard. It needs its own update because it's like a PC within a keyboard. How cool is that? Let's go. So I don't know if you could see down here, it was actually saying updating in the bottom right on the LED OLED screen. Very cool. So as you can see here, I've already got a new color profile on it where the colors are slowly shifting down one side to another side. Oh my God, that is so nice looking. So I was able to do that with the software here. So I've went to the onboard profiles and you could change everything from key bindings, which are going to be super handy for games. Um, we've got meta bindings, whatever the hell those are. Actuation. You could change the, like, I guess, the actuate the pressure sensitivity per key, um, at least in the main rows of key, keys here. We've got dual bindings. I've got to experiment and see what that, that all does. We've got dual actuation. Interesting, so that means I guess if you press it down half the way you could have it activate something and then Have it activate something else when you press all the way down. I'm not sure and we've got elimination and we've got OLED settings here We would change with the, you know mess with the OLED stuff um, And for config one I'm setting it right now to color shift 
but they've got they've got a bunch of whole keyboard presets you can do custom effects we can have it breathe so let's say I press a button here see how it breathes oh see how it breathes every time I press a key really nice and you could change you could change how it breathes we've got um what else have we got we've got gradient so we can have it change the gradient do a little gradient change every time I press a key very nice and let's see oh reactive layer no we want like a ripple we want a freaking ripple here oh <laughs> how cool is that So apologies, apologies for that, for that. My, my camera, camera overheated, overheated. So, so we're back, back at, at it again. again. Oh, apologies for the echo there. <laughs> so, um, see we've got the ripple effect, very cool. Um, we also have, let's see what else we have here. We have color shift, let's see what happens here. Oh, oh, look at that. <laughs> that is so nice. Um, we could obviously change it to single color where it's just color and then we could have it ripple white when we press a key. See? So you've got like unlimited options here. You could just have it be a solid color. I think you can even change per key what color you want different keys. So we could have WASD here. Let's do, let's have that be green. W, we'll do, we'll do, we'll do A, set to green, one of the quick ones here, and we'll get red, we'll get S, we'll set that to green too, and then D, set that to green. So there we go, and down here, boom! So we know instantly what keys we're going to be pressing to move forward left and right, and as you can see, we've got the ripple effect, that is super cool. I think I'm going to go for... Let's see West Coast, what's West Coast? Apply. Nice. Um, let's do warp drive. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> nice. And we can choose the ripple color, um, the speed. Let's just do prism, shall we? The old rainbow color. And we'll do for the ripple we'll do green boom 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 <laughs> who doesn't love rp R rgb man look at these gonna have rg rgb everything don't you so there we go guys that is the steel series apex pro tkl apologies it's not a more in-depth video taking you through all the features and explaining what all the features do because i'm kind of new to it as i told you um so i would love if you have any tips any tricks any advice on how to oh you can even change the freaking logo let's do a little dribble there a little scribble see if it shows up there oh it does <laughs> how do i undo that <laughs> uh <laughs> Undo, reset, reset to default, there we go. In fact, you know what, let's clear that. Let's put blaze to K, done. <laughs> it's, it's a blaze to K Apex Pro now, all right? So there you go, guys. There's the Apex Pro TKL keyboard. I am in love with it. I'll tell you one thing right off the bat that's been a little bit strange or hard to get used to. And that is the, that is the, like how much you have to press down the key. Now I know you can adjust the actuation and you can adjust how, how much you have to press down to where it activates. So you can literally just, you don't have to barely press it down for it to detect your, your press. I know you can adjust that, but I'm going from something like this, a little chiclet key keyboard, that's like literally like a couple of millimeters thick to a full size desktop keyboard again. Well, not a full size, but you know, a desktop keyboard. It's a little bit weird. And I noticed when I was actually trying to log in and create an account for SteelSeries, I was making some typos. 
<laughs> I was making some typos. So we're going to see. It's 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 it remains to be seen if my typing is going to improve on this. I really hope it does. Um, but so far, I love this thing. I love how it looks. I love how I can customize it. I'm probably going to get some Christmas themes going on here. It's going to look really nice on my setup. Um, awesome. Super happy with it. And I like the wrist red and what wrist rest. And also, I noticed on the bottom, let me turn it up, it does actually have little risers at the back there because I thought it was sitting a little bit too flat on the desk. But then I put my finger under there just to see if I had risers, risers and it sure does. They're, I think they've got like a rubber tip on them, so they shouldn't move. So there we go. I like it. I love it. I'm going to clip that on there, the magnetic wrist rest, and it just feels so nice. It feels nice. Let's do a little bit of a typing test, shall we? Let's do a typing test. All right, guys. Apologies for the background noise. I just realized that I would forgot to turn off the background noise filter. So if it was really noisy, if you heard a lot of fans, That'll be why in the last the last part. But let's do this typing test, all right? Hey, oh, hey, my name is Blaze Two K. I am a YouTuber. Thank you for. Oh, hold on a second. Hold on a freaking second. We need word wrap on here. Word wrap. Wrap the window. There we go. Thank you for watching my terrible videos. I'm actually not doing too bad. I thought it was going to be worse. Um, I am typing on the Apex, oh, sorry, the Steel Series Apex Pro TKL keyboard, and it feels amazing. So, one thing I just want to say right off the bat, like I said, it, it feels worlds apart from typing on my little Bluetooth keyboard that I showed you, the little chiclet keys. Um, the, 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 the depth that these keys go to, it's a little bit weird at first. But I feel there's a satisfaction, a weird satisfaction about typing on an old keyboard like this. Well, a, well, a key switch, whatever the, the official term of it is, it just feels really tactile. And it has it's a feeling that I've not felt in a long, long time. I was born in the night, like early 90s. And, you know, we, I grew up with keyboards like this. Maybe not this exact, as, as advanced as this, with all the tech built into this. But it's been a long time. And this is it's been at least... 10 years I think since I had a keyboard like this since I used a keyboard like this so this is amazing and it's almost it gives me key, key um, typewriter vibes you're you're all all you PC gamers are probably laughing at me right now saying this guy, what, what is this guy talking about but it's been that long since I've had a keyboard like this and it feels amazing um, please like subscribe and click the bell icon for more unboxings tech gaming and 3d printing and okay I'm, I'm bad at writing vr content i love you loads thank you oh, 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 for being here and i will see you in the next video take care smiley face there we go so there we go guys, that is the unboxing and first impressions of the Steel Series Apex Pro TKL keyboard. I cannot be happier. I, f I just want to sit here and clickety clack all day long. I, I know, I'm so corny. But I just love the feel of it. It feels amazing. I can't wait to do some gaming on it. How about we christen this thing and play a little short round of Modern Warfare 2. Let's do it. All right, we're loading up Modern Warfare 2. We're gonna do a little bit of quick play. Let's see how this keyboard performs. I can't wait, can you? <laughs> Let's go. All right, guys, we're jumping in. I'm on the keyboard. Clickety clack, it's like, oh, we're gonna do this. My first game of Modern Warfare 2 with the new Seal Series FX Pro TKL, yes. need to get oh what happened to my loader hold on a second oh custom there we go gotta start with a golden union guard Let's see how i do oh oh it's definitely a change <laughs> after playing with that crappy logitech it's a change that's all i'll say get it secure securing the objective now Oh! 
Oh god, I might. Okay. So I'll put a link to this down below in the video description for you guys to buy one if you want, guys. It, the keyboard's fantastic, it really is. It feels good, it's something real tactical about... Contact! About just pressing an old school keyboard again. Would you call it old school? Has it ever been old school? It looks old school. I'll say that. Drop them! I've been playing so much Warzone lately, I forgot what it feels like to play old multiplayer again. They would have got me eventually. <laughs> I did a good job protecting the freaking haze here, there, didn't I? Desk is what I need. I've got so much stuff in the middle of my mouse. I keep hitting stuff in my mouse here. Damn it! All right, let me lose my kill streaks here real fast before I end the video. Requesting my army to attack me. Copy your boss. What's the strike about? Good request. Target. HQ is online. Capture the objective. Kill two. Oh yeah. Oh, we're getting all the kills here. We are capturing the HQ. Set security. Woo! Set security HQ. This might not be your type of game, but it's definitely one of those competitive, competitive games where you know, good. Input certainly helps, especially when you're moving back and forward, back and forth. Can't wait to play with all the the color options. I'm gonna get a little Christmas theme going on this bad boy. Get me in the Christmas spirit. So there we go, guys. That is the Apex. Pro TKL. The video is a little bit long, but hopefully it was helpful. Thank you for watching me. I am Blaze2K, and I do tech videos, gaming videos, you name it on this channel. Steam Deck videos, because I love my Steam Deck. But please consider clicking the like, subscribe, and clicking the bell icon so you get a bit of tech in gaming on your YouTube homepage every day from me. And please go follow me at twitter.com forward slash Blaze2KX down here, or watch my streams every day at blaze 2k or twitch.tv forward slash blaze 2k gaming on twitch link also in the description uh, i stream every day at 3 p.m eastern and you'll see me using this keyboard every day so if you have any questions come come over and ask me um and also yeah just thank you for watching i'll see you guys in the next video if you want to support everything i do on youtube please click join down below or visit my patreon page anyways guys have a wonderful day sorry for the for the long 24 minute video but hopefully it was a good one anyways guys take care Love this keyboard. I love it.